What is good fam? I got a disturbing, chilling story <laughs> that happened to me this just yesterday. I got this picture sent to my email. Just out of nowhere, this got sent to my email. And then the name, there wasn't, it wasn't a name, it was a number that started with a T. I got recommended to the dark web by a supposed bull friend named Anthony, one of my buddies, okay? I went to the dark web and I just, I, I regret it so much. I went there and ended up seeing people get tortured and there was a little box where the audience could determine basically how the person dies, okay? And they were calling me by my actual name. How in the hell does that happen? I was using like Tor to get rid of my IP address and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, very confusing and very, very creepy. They hacked me. I got a hacker because they changed the background on my laptop. It was a goddamn black screen with a skull. I got rid of all this stuff before I even took screenshots, which isn't like me. You know, it was kind of stupid. I should have saved it. I'm aware that cops want to be very much help. I've never called the cops in my life. I'm never really planning on it unless I absolutely have to. But I mean, come on, someone's taking pictures of me. And, I, and it was almost like someone's been pounding at the side of my house. And my dog's been going nuts about things. And I've just been ignoring them because usually it's nothing. So that's a little bit unnerving as well. It, it's just it's just so, so crazy. Um, uh, I just, I really regret all this. Never again. Never, ever again. See, like, at first, my aunt, I guess, was trying to make me feel better, saying she might have took this picture. I'm like, what do you mean? You either took the picture and sent it to my email or you didn't because I told her about my computer getting hacked and all that. So, no, it ended up, it wasn't her. And then she finally understood, like, I'm serious and what I meant, I guess. I'm not playing. Yeah, anybody's capable, I guess, of staging something like this, but it doesn't make no sense for me to stage this. I'm not no creep channel or, you know, any kind of paranormal channel or nothing like that. I have no reason to fake something like this. I am just documenting my story because I guess it might make me feel better, you know, as a whole, as a person, because I'm just lost for words, really. I'm confused I don't know what's going on these people what do they want from me um, I guess I'm part of this sick game now but I'll tell you one thing I'm sleeping beside my pistol and a steak knife and I just got my pistol two weeks ago so there couldn't have been any better timing got me a nine millimeter and I'm very willing I will use it if I have to even if I see these someone taking a picture of me Unless it's someone real close, they're getting their ass beat bad. Bad. And if I can't catch them, I'm going to shoot their ass. <laughs> I am disturbed right now. You know, what do you do in this kind of situation? I was sitting there minding my own business. You can see I'm on my phone. I was on my goddamn phone, minding my own business. I think I just got out of the shower. I don't have a hat on. I don't have a beanie on. The fact that I didn't see them... I think is the most disturbing part. They're right beside me. How didn't I see them, you know? Uh, it's just... My dog's been trying to tell me something. And I've just been debunking it. Because usually it's nothing that he's freaking out about. So yeah, I kind of got a big problem here, fam. You know, I don't know what to do about it. I'm just taking it one step at a time. You know, I'm going to have bear traps outside. I'm going to have security cameras. I'm just going to take all the precautions necessary because I'm not going down like this. I'm not going to end up in no torture chamber or whatever you're trying to do with me. It's not going to happen. I'm telling you this right now. It's not going to work. Deep dark web guy. You know, you, you scare me because you got this picture of me without me knowing. But I'll tell you what, the next time I see you, if I mean, if I do see you, let's say, see, I'm kind of getting pissed as I'm talking. It what was just all fear. Now it's just kind of like anger. After it kind of, I got to a, able to process it all. 
So yeah, fam, I don't know. Um, this is kind of what I've been dealing with. Why I haven't really been posting videos. Is I got some creeper taking pictures of me outside my window. And what's truly upsetting is at first I couldn't even talk to like my best friend about it. He thought, he was like, why are you taking pictures of yourself? What do you mean? Why am I taking pictures of myself? Can't you tell I am so fearful right now of this situation obviously not and my own aunt was kind of playing with me about it like saying oh i might have took it no what do you mean you might have took it you had to have taken it and sent it to my email who knows my email you know i don't do nothing like that with my email the only people that know my email is like vince russo jackson pierce and new jack yeah, and I still got to do a video on that, by the way, the epic fell of my new Jack interview. But that's that's just a whole different other subject. Um, yeah, so I'm taking this one day at a time and I will have a follow up video. And I hope I know a lot.